over by Calabash Bay here would be our main beach where would be a lot of activity. You'd have the people who sell the fresh fruits and vegetables. So a lot of people, the difficulty of getting to a hospital is great. It's half an hour to the nearest hospital, and that hospital quite often has a very long wait at the emergency room. You Can you imagine a community with 3,500 people having their own clinic? Yeah? Can you imagine the love and care that we already have, how much that would have ha add to it? So uh, we started having health clinics uh, just in our community and uh, with doctors from the Hillsborough County Osteopathic Society of Florida. And they bring uh, the doctors, the nurses, the assistants, and the, uh, the, the medical students, and we all come together and work together to see to the medical needs of our community. What we would like to do now is to have a full-time clinic that would be good for locals, good for visitors, um, and that volunteers would come down and full-time basis and, and rotate, um, working alongside with the Ministry of, of Health locally. I know quite a few people right now just waiting for the next clinic session. You know, just waiting to, for the doctors to be here. Medical students here are coming from Florida. They have just completed their first year of medical school, so this is the first opportunity that they have to put their actual hands on a patient. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> it's unheard of really in medical education, unfortunately these days, to be able to pull a patient out of the books after the first year and actually throw them into an environment where they can teach and teach their patients and also put their hands on these patients. So we use this as an opportunity to be able to not only help these patients here, but teach the future of doctors. This is my 10th year coming back to Treasure Beach, Jamaica, and it definitely seems like it was just yesterday that I was here. And last year we saw about 500 patients uh, during the four-day clinic. You know, just like when you're doing clinic in the States, you're not really sure what you're going to be dealing with that day. Uh, today we're going to give it our best shot, see what we can do to help these people here. What we're doing is the fourth day of the health clinic 
uh, between the Treasure Beach Women's Group and the Hillsborough County Osteopathic Medical Society of Florida. So patients that want to be seen at our clinic, um, they'll come up. When it is their turn to register, the Women's Group volunteers will take down their information and find out a little bit about why they came in today. So here we have some students doing vitals, and but our students are also able to do school physicals, which is what a lot of the patients here in the clinic come in for. The second year students are trained enough that they can actually complete the full physical, so they'll do things like check their vision as they're doing right there, and they'll check their neuro neurologic reflexes and just a complete physical exam. A little bit further back in our transition area, we actually have our pharmacy. So the pharmacy is a collection of basically all of the medications that we brought via donations and a lot of supplies that we have left over from previous clinics. So far this year, um, we've had a good amount of donations and our pharmacy has been uh, very helpful to a lot of the patients. <laughs> the students will take a history a general history of why they decided to come in today and about their general health and they'll do a physical exam. They'll present it to um, our attending, Dr. Omesh Singh, and he will kind of walk them through treating and diagnosing a patient and how to deal with them clinically. We're not only able to help some of the patients that come through here that are in need of seeing a primary care doctor and at least get back on the right footing, um, to try to recover some of their, their chronic diseases, but also it gives us as the providers an opportunity to teach the medical students. What we're able to do here in this short week is not obviously teaching them entire medical school curriculum, but we're able to teach them compassion, empathy, how to connect with a patient, particularly in cultural and even sometimes, you know, different socioeconomic differences that they have or they're coming from the states. Okay, very good, very good, wonderful, wonderful. So go ahead, you guys can continue. So one of the things that we find here is even though I come once a year, you get a very general sense of a primary care feel. A lot of times these patients will remember me from last year and I'll, I've, now that I've been here for the last 10 years, I'm kind of incorporated in the culture and the community here, which makes me feel like I have a home away from home. Uh, be able to reconnect with these people that you haven't seen. And it's good to see that they have taken some of the lessons that we taught them last time and are able to implement it over the last year. So we'll get a chance to see how, pro how much progress she's had over the past year with her health. But after when the night, I'm most nice to see in this pain. And you have no pain like right here? No. No, just right here? Just right here. Okay. We're going to ask him, uh, the doctor just one more question and then I'll let you know how to take this medication, okay? I think we're much better, better flow now. So um, I'm Dr. Miranda Jesty. I have been working with the health clinic here for the last 10 years. Thank you. All right, so you have one going back right now with him. Okay, and you're ready for another dialysis? Uh, ready, so we need more. Thanks. Oh, sorry. As you can see, it's kind of a crazy day. I always have to establish system flow so that we have vitals getting done, everyone waiting, then they go to see the patient in the room, then they go to check out, get their medication. So it's just establishing a flow so that if we step out for a second, flow keeps going. <laughs> After the vitals are done, you guys see them. Do you want something? Yes? Okay, let me grab something. How about a little pin? Do you want a pin? Yeah. Put it right here in your, in your shirt. Trying to establish it so that we can come more often, so that we can be here, so that we can provide aid. Instead of coming in and leaving, um, it's not, it's not, I don't feel that it does as much good because when you come in and you provide some care, but then not enough, how is the continuity of that care done? What, what happens on the other 360 days out of the year that we're not here?
So we're learning to delegate and pass on some leadership to let other people um, help uh, keep the program moving. And so part of the flow issues in establishing a system so that you can see that when patients are flowing through, there's organization so there's no mass chaos. And um, Hi, baby. our birthday's on Sunday. Yeah. Are you going to be seven? How old are you? Are you going to be seven? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And she just got her present. Good deal. All right, Mama, you guys can go back with her, OK? All right. You guys are good? Come in. <laughs> How are you? What's your name? Say it again. Gail. Very nice to meet you, Gail. Can you sit up there for me? If you want to describe it. Hi, my name is Molly. I'm a school doctor. So pediatric heart sounds are so important at this age because we want to make sure that nothing was missed, you know, from the, you know, I'm not confident about how her, you know, postnatal type of pediatric care was. So we want to make sure that we're listening to her heart sounds very well to make sure that there's no murmurs or anything that could give her issues down the road. Her teeth, very good. Again, having a pediatric clinic or a place of primary care is great because annually, you know, patients can go there to get checked up to make sure that there's no issues going on with their health. I am Sarah. I am an incoming second year medical student and I just diagnosed a carpal tunnel syndrome. Hi mom, how you doing? I'm not bad. Very nice to meet you. So you're a cook? Yes. Okay, so you do a lot of repetitive cooking, ringing, washing, those kinds of things. Let me see here. Any numbness? No, numbness, but when you look here, it's... it's pain? Yes. Okay, so you, definitely she has some carpal tunnel on yeah. this side, right? We just went and got um, an ACE bandage so we can splint the wrist, and we're having her maybe try and minimize her repetitive motions so we can reduce these symptoms, and we've taught her a couple exercises and um, an OMT technique to help release that compression she's got going on to help decrease her wrist pain. So it was really exciting to be able to apply all the knowledge and tests, special tests we've learned um, and actually lead to a diagnosis and be able to potentially help this patient. So it felt really good. Very hot, hot day today at the clinic. Despite the heat, we all pulled together and we get the clinic done. Today we saw 113 yesterday, 90 patients were seen. It's pretty miraculous to see everyone just pulled together. And now we're anticipating a meeting tomorrow with the powers and the brains and the brainstorming persons that be in hopes of uh, going to the next step. The discussions are actually how to go about making this happen. So we're taking the imagining and verbalizing it and now we're trying to bring it into the, this world here. So it's like a birth and a baby, kind of. All right, um, morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, I think today is a very, very good day. We had a good meeting with our regional health department. All we wanted to do was to bring them in to speak with the visiting team here to see how we could move from our vision to reality and I think we were able to get through some of the finer details in how we could make this happen. This being having a primary healthcare facility in Treasure Beach. We've identified a location, we've done a plan um, and we now have a solid plan. We've costed that plan. We now have, which was the missing element, to bring in the Ministry of Health to ensure that they speak um, with the partners to see what are the aspects of the structure, the management that we need to get right. I think we've nailed that today. And once we sign off on that and the Ministry of Health says that that is okay, we'll cost it and then we'll move forward. Right now, we're currently about to walk into what we may believe could be a suitable place for a future permanent clinic. We've selected kind of an area after our meeting today that's close to the roadside, as you can see here, a little bit easily accessible. Not really sure what we're going to be uh, walking into right now, but at least it'll give us a starting point to kind of consider something to build on and to retrofit. So let's have a look. Okay, so here, coming in here, looks like there's some 
looks like the structure is pretty good. Requires uh, a little bit of cleaning. What is yeah, this one here? needs definitely some cleaning here. There's a lot of recycle bottles. <laughs> This could be, this area could be a waiting room and reception area here. Um, from what I'm seeing right now, this could be, this could be doable. You know, it's got good access from the, from the road there. This could be a kitchen or we can convert this over to a triage area or a pharmacy. Um, and then, there's an examination room here. There's another half a room that I So this can all be used for storage here. There's a, another examination room here. Examination room here. A door we cannot have access to could be a possible bedroom, but we need to get mm. through the door. Okay. Bathroom. So one, two, three. This can be actually probably bathroom. converted over to, there's a bathroom oh, already there, but it has plumbing um, capabilities there, so this could be converted over to lab. So we got one, three two, rooms. three. Three rooms. Bathroom, full bathroom, kitchen. So, so there's another half bath or is that the full bath? There's a full there's bath there. The and this goes out to that, what we thought was the lobby. Can I see what the back side looks like here? Oh, this is a half bath. Oh. So there's actually a unit to the one and a half bath. This is mostly What do you think? I think this is it. Yeah. It's perfect. The school is right there. Yep. So the kids, whoever is sick or whatever, needs to come over or they can do school physicals right here. He obviously, it needs some cleanup and uh, make it in a medical office. Yes. It's definitely doable. You're conceptually, you're fine. Conceptually, I think this is going to work perfectly. Okay. Yep. So, Omesh, I'm going to scoot out. and. Uh, it was very so nice to meet you. Yeah. Until next time, okay? Yes. All right. And we'll be in touch, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Sandra. Sandra. Okay, you take care, okay? I definitely feel that, you know, with the meetings we had this morning and the new generation of the new leadership that we're seeing, that we're going to be able to make changes here in this environment a lot quicker than I previously had perceived. You've got to remember this one. It looks like we're being given uh, land, a building, $100,000 to do something with the building. It's uh, pretty amazing, and we are going to have a full-time clinic in Treasure Beach, Jamaica. In a very short order, we can start some work so that very soon we'll be able to say we do have a primary health care facility in Treasure Beach. You know, we've been thinking about it and talking about it for years, and it's being done. Yeah, man. <laughs>